Hey, it's Nina. So um, I wanted to do a quick video to kind of expand a little bit more about what it's like to be an emotional authority in human design. So about 50% of the population have a defined solar plexus and I am one of them. And it took me some time to get familiar with my wave and really understand, you know, when to listen or how to listen to my solar plexus by writing through my emotional waves. And so um, this video is for actually defined and undefined solar plexus because, um, you know, for those who don't understand the emotional authority, I think this video may be a little bit helpful for you to understand the process of what emotional people go through. And for emotional authorities who are maybe new on their deconditioning, journey or just found human design and want to understand a little bit more about the solar plexus and kind of uh, expand your awareness on what's really going on at a deeper level when we are going through our emotional waves. So this is something I've explained to other people before and um, this is how I personally experience um, my emotional wave. So if you think about it, um, an emotional wave, say you have a decision that you need to make about something. Say you want to, you know, you're in the market for a new car or you are, you know, thinking about starting to date someone or you are thinking about going back to school and you have all of these options ahead of you and you're like, oh, okay, like it's not just a simple black and white yes and no, like there are other options, like different color car, different schools, um, partner, maybe there's one or maybe there's more than one for you. Um, but basically when you have a decision in front of you, someone with a, a solar plexus or an emotional authority, they're going to take that and they're going to experience the high of every single possible outcome, whether they're aware of it or not. And every single low of every single potential outcome before they can reach that emotional clarity. So that may not be easy to wrap your mind around. So um, another way to explain it would be, you know, you're, it's almost as if you have, you know, not just this one decision. It's like, oh, if I go to this school or if I take, you know, these classes at this time, or I take these specific classes and how is this going to affect my life in the long term? How is this going to affect my life in the short term? And you experience every single high and low for every single potential outcome from this particular situation. And so you're basically experiencing every single potential parallel like reality or like potential outcome basically. And for someone who's not a defined solar plexus, that can seem very foreign and exhausting and just a lot because emotional people are just constantly, constantly processing um, emotions because we're trying to find clarity on different things and that's just our process but it's completely normal to us is to find solar plexus um, for someone who's not defined they may look at us and be like wow I don't understand that or that seems really heavy or that seems really overwhelming or that's just like a really long deep process and they don't really understand and and that's okay they just don't necessarily have that awareness or maybe they're not fully conscious that they're rejecting defined solar plexus maybe because they have conditioning or trauma related to you know someone who is unaware with a defined solar plexus so this is this video is just more of like trying to explain the process so undefined solar plexus can can understand and see why it takes to find solar plexus so long to make decisions sometimes and why like this process should be honored because there is so much depth and wisdom that comes from experiencing that entire range and potential um, outcome for like whatever decision you're making and so when someone goes through their entire emotional wave and then someone comes to them and says hey you know you made this decision why did you make this they have complete access to every single you know emotion high and low that they experienced even though it didn't play out in the real world it played out within them within their solar plexus and so they have the emotional depth and feelings and like emotional experience basically um of why they chose 
a certain thing or why they, they made a certain decision or why they didn't make a certain decision. And so they have that depth in order to offer to someone else who may be undefined or defined, but they have that experience to be able to offer. And to me, there's such depth and such wisdom to, to that experience of riding these waves high and low. And I don't think defined solar plexuses really understand like how deep the process goes and what we're really doing when we are going through our waves because it's literally like swimming in this ocean just completely full of fish and whatever and like it's just and just being in the water like it's just like we're constantly surrounded by this these emotions like the water particles are our emotions like that is how deep and how many emotions that we are processing and it can be really really intense and so when you don't have that awareness of really what's going on at kind of like a deeper level it can seem overwhelming you may want to reject or you may not want to experience those emotions but when you learn to become kind of neutral and more of an observer of the wave that's when things start to get a little bit easier so um, I have another video where I kind of go a little bit more in depth into my um, deconditioning process and learning how to great more gracefully ride these uh emotional waves as a solar plexus authority and um i will post that here and then also in the description of the video if you want to watch it as well but i just wanted to pop on here and kind of explain that a little bit more um for anyone who is defined in their solar plexus i'm curious how you experience that i'm also a quad right so and my deepest sense is feeling I'm a very visual person and I like feel things and see things um, like within myself that um, maybe not everyone experiences. So I hope that I explained that in, in a way that was understandable to everyone. And for those who have an undefined solar plexus, I hope that you have a deeper understanding of what truly goes on with your partners or your friends or your family or coworkers. So you can see why the defined solar plexus needs time because they're just processing so much like it's just it's mind-blowing how much solar plexuses are processing on an emotional um plane because it's just happening constantly and we're not necessarily aware of it but there's just so much depth and wisdom to it and um i feel like there should be there needs to be like really a lot of respect for the solar plexus you know, and not that it's better or worse than the spleen or, you know, someone who's a mental authority or sacral or ego authority. They're all special and amazing in their own different ways. I mean, you have this, the, the spleen who's like in the now. They get, they know right in the moment. They may not understand why um, they have that answer, but that's just their process. And there's nothing wrong with it. They just know right then and there so they can take action. So the plexus people we need our time we need we need to sleep on things and we need to to feel things out because that's just our process so um just learning to really embrace that and to know that if there is anyone who will not wait for you as a defined solar plexus or as someone with a solar plexus authority those people are not for you those those opportunities are not for you because if those people are not willing to wait for you to make your decision you know they're not it's not going to be a mutual thing because you're not following your strategy and authority. You're not waiting out that emotional wave. And that's not ever really going to end in the best way possible. So as someone with a defined solar plexus, I've learned to just ask people for more time. And most of the time people are like, yeah, like that's totally fine. Or I'll say like, hey, when do you need to know this? Or when's the last minute that you need to know this answer if I know it's like more of a shorter decision because sometimes you know it might just be a couple hours where I can feel through something and know whether it's correct for me or not um and so yeah just communicating that as an emotional authority communicating how you're feeling and what you need from others it removes a lot of resistance and removes a lot of pressure in order to make a decision so that you can better tap into the subtleties of the solar plexus so I hope this was helpful and um, if there are any insights or any comments, feel free to comment on the video below and uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.